okay, you've got to bear with me because this is my first how-to video um, for Real Me Makeup Me. This is obviously Real Me without makeup. Uh, so, um, yeah, as I said, this is my first time filming. We might have a teenager or an eight-year-old come in interrupting and also ask me what I'm doing talking to myself. Um, so yeah, bear with me. Let me just get my hair tied. I did mean to have it on me, but obviously first time I'm not practiced. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my base and for today I need a bit more coverage because I've got a bit, bit of a breakout here and here. I don't know what's happening. I'm not too on or anything. Um, so I'm going to choose the Clarins BB Ski Skin Detox Fluid. As you can see, this is nearly empty. I love this one. Um, I don't like a heavy base. So I'm just putting a little bit like that on my hand. I'm going to grab foundation brush. Oh, I should have said that today the makeup is for going out for lunch for my mum's 70th birthday. Um, so because it's daytime, I want to keep it... Um, not too glam, quite low key, but still kind of done. Um, so here I go, I'm just massaging the base into my hand and I'm using this YSL brush. And a makeup artist called Lisi Valencia, who I used a lot on shoots when I was at Boots, always re recommended starting the base at the middle of your face because that tends to be where you need a bit of more coverage. And then just massage it gently outwards around your face, concentrating on your jawline and in the creases. I remember when I first started wearing makeup, um, I used to have these horrible tide marks when I was a teenager, which wasn't attractive. What I didn't know then is I actually didn't need makeup. That's what annoys me about teenagers these days. Um, okay. They don't need to cover them up, their skin up with just ridiculous amount of base. Anyway, so that's done, I think. I'm going to my trusty YSL Touche Clap, which is my go-to even for days when I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup. I just apply a little bit where I need it, which is under the eyes. Um, sorry about this mark here, that's where I've been wearing my glasses this morning, so I've still got a bit of a glasses mark. I like to go right into the creases as well, because I tend to be quite dark there, as you can see on that eye. Um, and on the edges, I just think, it just makes your eyes pop. There you go. There's the bell ringing, so just bear with me. That's my husband and son coming back from rugby. One second, it is Sunday morning, one sec. Okay, I'm back. You're probably gonna hear, um, I'll just click a bit more, now there's enough on there. You've gotta make sure that you can't, um, don't put too much on, because then you can just look weird and like with white eyes, have the opposite effect of panda eyes. You'll probably hear my kids and my husband now, because we've all got to get ready for my mum's birthday. So, you're probably gonna hear them arguing or trying to get in the shower at the same time. My eldest is already in there. I need to cover up some of those spots that I mentioned. Uh, I don't know what that is. It might just be where I've been a bit stressed. You know, life in general. Um, so this is Estee Lauder double wear found, um, concealer in medium, 3C. Uh, so I just apply it. I mean, you can apply it with a brush, but because I'm in a bit of a rush, I need, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Don't apply concealer before foundation because you just end up rubbing it off. So always apply it afterwards. Now I'm gonna get my, oh, it's a bit grubby, my trusty Clarins bronzer. I love a bronzer, can't get away from it. And I'm using it on this new repackaged Royal Techniques face blush, brush. Because it's bronzer, I'm kind of putting it all over. So I didn't want 
a small one, I wanted a big one. This is number 201. I'm gonna, all right, Dan. Yeah, just got my upstairs. Okay, well, I'll have to hoover it in a minute. Now I'm gonna do, um, curl my lashes, because my lashes are quite straight, and my eyelids are quite hoody, which means they're quite, when I open my eyes, they kind of take up a lot of eyeball. So I'm gonna use these Tweezerman twe uh, eyelash curlers. Now this is gonna be a bit hard. I've never done this on a camera, and I don't wanna make the mistake that I've done before um, and pulled loads out. I basically lent my elbow on a sink, and the sink was wet, and my elbow um, kind of moved, and as it moved, I yanked the eyelash curler down, and loads of eyelashes came. I am going to do a little trick that Charlotte Tilbury taught me um, with eyeliner just to make your lashes, eyelashes look a bit longer. I'm um, going to get a black eye, um, eyeliner. This is Clarins Coal Eye Pencil in Extreme Black. And all, I don't want to put it anywhere because I don't want a too much of a dramatic look and I've got quite big eyes. So I'm going to just pl literally put it on the upper inside waterline. Again, this is a bit tricky because I'm not used to looking into a camera. What this does is it basically gives, um, oh look, I've got a bit there. Oh God, sorry, it's just, if I was doing this in a normal mirror, then it'd be fine. I'll go back to that in a minute before I do the after picture. Okay, because my mum rang, um, she interrupted the video and the video stopped and because I'm a novice at this, I didn't realise that the video had stopped. So I've already put my mascara on and it's not videoed it and I've got still got that bit of mark there. And I've also um, put my lipstick on, which is really annoying and, uh, oh, and my, um, I've done my eyebrows, but I'll quickly Tell you what I've done. Um, I have used this Cosmetics a la carte mascara on my eyelashes. Um, it's uh, their intense volume black mascara. Um, Cosmetics a la carte are a shop in Knightsbridge and they have um, some great kind of bases and foundations. A lot of makeup artists shop there, but they have got an online store as well. This mascara, I've just applied one um, coat because I didn't want it to look too dramatic. Um, and then I've also used my trusty handbag staple that I think everyone should have, the Elizabeth Arden Eight Hour Cream. Um, I've used it on my eyebrows and I've also applied a bit to my eyelids. My eyebrows, they'll help tame them and the eyelids, they'll give a bit of a gloss. The MAC Luster Lipstick, it's my favourite, it's like a really natural MAC, um, really natural lipstick and I just put that on my lips as you can see and then my little trick is to, because it's so sheer and sheeny and it's a bit like a highlighter, I put a bit on my Cupid's bow just to add, um, just to make your lips pop a little bit and I also added some here because it acts as a highlighter. It's a good kind of like, again, makeup bag must have, as I said, MAC Luster Lipstick. I love it. And I love it so much. Look, it's nearly at the end. Um, okay, so I think I'm done. Um, all I need now is just to put my hair down. There's nothing like having your hair down um, to make you feel a bit more glamorous and yeah I think I'm ready for my mum's 70th lunch hope you enjoyed it <laughs>